right, you guys. So I got some Timus. How about we do a little bit of Timu and chat? We're going to go with this double side at first. He's a really cute bunny. Um, they did show what the drill field should look like in both square and round and in both 30 by 40 and 40 by 50. I went with the 40 by 50 because partly I am me, but also partly because if you pull up his listing, if he still exists, for some reason the 30 by 40, they give him green in his fur, but they don't look to give him green in his fur in the 40 by 50s. Also, I didn't go with square because I've just not had a good time with squares. But I finally got a Diamond Art Club square. Thank you, Bling. Diamonds Craft and Crochet is the channel for you guys. Um, and should I stop calling you Bling? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. I just kind of get hooked in a way, and that's what I do. But look at these gorgeous colors. Like, I really want to do an Easter canvas. I have so many pretty Easter style canvases. And this is just a rabbit with flowers. Like, this could be summer, this could be Easter, this could be winter. Like, this is just a rabbit with flowers. But I was looking at my paintings that I have in my book, and I have three gorgeous actual Easter photos. They have the eggs, the rabbit, and like a duck in one of them or something. They have the Easter basket. Like, they are Easter paintings with rabbits in them. And they are so gorgeous. There was like a set of three, and I got the three of them. I'd really like to give them a try. So, I will be interested in doing Easter paintings. But look at this guy. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Part of me still would really like to have rabbits. I've kind of always wanted rabbits. And um, we got a rabbit as a kid. Then it went to a family member. And then I had rabbits for a very short time a few years ago. But I really would like pet rabbits. However, I definitely don't think I can have rabbits with the dogs I have now. So, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. They're just so sweet, though. And they're so soft. Soft, fluffy, little doggy-like creatures. So. I don't know. I, I have a thing for rabbits, I think. And look at him. So cute. And you got color blocking and L's. You do have dummy circles. You got your O's and 4's and C's and D's. You got O's and C's, which suck, but it looks very clear on the camera. Hopefully it looks that way with the backlight on it. Otherwise I might have to do an overhead light for this one or something. But it looks to me like I can see cream from white. Like one is white and one is cream and like I shouldn't have an issue. But again, overhead light versus backlight does change that. And I like using my light board on all of my paintings. But I have found sometimes using overhead works better to see some letters than using light boards, so... We will just have to see what I do when I get there. If I get there, because let's be honest, I have a lifetime's worth of painting. So, <laughs> there's no way all of these I show you are going to get done. They're just, it's not going to happen, sadly. I want to see so many of them done. I want to finish so many of them, but it just isn't going to happen. So, we do have our chart here with uh, how many bags of each color, but they are pre-bags. So, yay! one um 27 bags total so i guess there's 27 colors and then again random numbers and letters and our cute little bunny rabbit i like that they tell you drill size and canvas size i really do like that so quite a bit of pink because there's like pink flowers around him then he's a white rabbit so that's really nice by the way, I should have said this long before now, but I decided to put, uh, like, right around here, put the uh, shop and the code. The code should work if you enter it into Timu to find the painting if it's still in stock. And then the shop name. I don't think you can search for a shop, but if you've bought a painting from them before or if you notice that I've opened multiple paintings from them, if one of those codes work, you can just, you know, open that painting and click on the shop link to go to their store and see what paintings they have. And that way you can also start noticing if some of these names here are always double-sided or anything like that. So this lady I thought was really pretty. Um, I actually showed her to Tita and was talking to Tita about her. And Tita said she kind of actually gave her some like pregnancy vibes. And it's like, you know what? Now that you say that, you're totally right. Something about the pose like this 
kind of looks like you know here's your stomach it's coming out of a flower here which you could say life you got like the tummy area kind of shown there and then she's just like serene you know so it, it kind of does give like a pregnancy vibe photo i didn't realize that but when she said that it's like i totally can see like something about this shape almost looks like the arms going down here right and the flowers the flowers just that shape she's that shape but it almost looks like the arms going down here like you'd be showing a belly right here obviously i don't see one i do see like a ribbon or something but it kind of does give that vibe also she's definitely an ai image you have one two three four fairy wings here and two here again i think she looks really pretty i don't know if you'd want to block those out or just fill those in as kind of decorative items like they're not attached to her they're just kind of like the flower petals here or whatever they're just kind of background randomness so you can kind of just say this is um what's the name of that where you have an art piece that is a bunch of different shapes and pieces kind of put together it's kind of like an abstract but not quite abstract it's like let's take wings and paste them there let's take flower buds and place them there and just circles and you know kind of an abstractish idea but i thought the lady was really pretty and like i said she actually probably would be like a nice gift for like a mom or something with like it really does kind of give me that vibe too once she said that so if that's what you see, if that's what you think about it, or if you just see kind of a cute fairy coming out of a flower and like life doesn't necessarily have to symbolize, symbolize birth of a baby or anything, but like it does kind of give that vibe. I think it's the pose as well as the fact that it's kind of like life <laughs> that does it. So look at that face though. And then you have a little bit of body and flowers. And then her hair with the flower in there. Like I said, you have these two just like wings there. These, I don't know if they're leaves or if they're like seed pods or what you'd consider that there. And then you have wings here. And maybe I'm nitpicking it. It looks like a gorgeous image overall. But then when you go closer, you, you do question, are these supposed to be like a sunflower's petals? Is this black? Like the head of a sunflower are these pixie wings should they be there like you do start getting a little questiony if you look closer at the image but overall i think it's a pretty painting so here's our colors browns black blue colors i think those are your 939s actually two bags of that gray blue brownish color there's like a purplish pink colors and cream colors and red and a little bit of yellow. No label. This one, I was waiting for this one. Oh, look at him. So it's a uh, gorgeous seascape. Look at that. 34 colors random symbols and letters i do have lights coming to try to fix the lighting situation again it with just the one is a lot worse than i feel like it was with the two because like i have to have it pointed more at the painting but then it gives it more of a reflection so i, I have lights on the way hopefully i can fix the lighting situation a little bit for us look at them though and then you got the sea and you got the angels and then look at the turtle look at the pretty turtle and you got a few little pink fish back there another angel fish up here you got the corals look at the starfish it comes with two boats with a few bags and your drills are in trains again as you would expect a lot of bluish green hues you got some yellows browns a little bit of pinks I think I see a purple hiding in there. There's a little bit of purple hiding in there to go with the blue. <laughs> I don't know. It's very narrow. Look at this. Like, this looks so narrow. But look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Like, what size are we working with here? 
This is a 90 by 30. So that tells you why it's narrow. It should be like, what, 25? Um, a little bit shy of 25. 24.75 maybe-ish area. So, yeah. Long and narrow. But it looks so gorgeous. For this only being... 25 like I wouldn't say to get this in a 30 by 40 but at the same time I'm kind of getting it in a 30 by 30 here right that's like a 30 by 30 or something and it looks gorgeous then we got like another 30 by 30 and then like another 30 by 30 right like I don't know it, it looks gorgeous though I am surprised that such a narrow po painting like this still looks like it's gonna have so much detail in it Let's see how well I can straighten this cover sheet out. It does have a lot of indents in the canvas, which it's also going to be hard to put this canvas under something flat because it's so long. So I don't know how well I can get these indents out on this one. Might have to try ironing it just because of the shape of it because it's so long. I thought this was so gorgeous and I looked at it for a while and didn't get it and then it's like, okay, I keep looking at it. I really want it. Why haven't I got it yet? So I went ahead and got it. Look at those guys though. Aren't they gorgeous? And again, look how nice he looks. Look how nice the dolphin looks. And you kind of have those inverted circles where it's like a white circle. You can see kind of there's a white circle there with blue around it. It's not the same color as the background. I kind of like those better than dummy circles here. You can definitely see it. They don't have the black line around them, but they're a white circle. I kind of like those better. They have one I like even better still. That's kind of more like a overlay color where it's closer to the background color like this not as obvious as down here but look at this the coral your dolphin a little fish angel fish another dolphin some more angels and a gorgeous turtle this is just a gorgeous painting and we have 34 colors in it that is really pretty i hope this turns out I used to have some fish tanks. Never sea. Uh, never salt water. Sorry. I never had salt water. I only had fresh water. But I had a gorgeous angel fish, some uh, black tetras, some cardinal tetras, and um, I've had goldfish, and I've had neon tetras, and I've had, uh, are they called dominoes? Something like, not dominoes, um, it's something like that. Oh, I forgot what they're called now. But they're a cold fish that will go with the neons. Because neons are actually cold water, so they shouldn't be with angels. But the cardinal tetras look almost like neon tetras, except for the line goes fully through them. They're bigger bodied, and they're warm. So they will go with the, with the uh, angels. And then the black tetras goes with the angels. So I've had those. I've had cichlids. So, I've never had the seawater. I've never had these angelfish, but I have seen seawater tanks in person, and they are gorgeous. Um, some say they're harder to keep than fresh water. Others say that they're not once you get them up and going. It's, you know, just mixing the right amount of salt to water and just kind of keeping your parameters just like with a freshwater tank. And they actually do have cleaning crews more like than a freshwater, because a freshwater, like, people talk about algae eaters, but a lot of algae eaters are actually gonna get too big for a fish tank and at the same time they don't really eat algae like that they're like not meant to keep your tank clean they actually produce more than they eat so a lot of freshwater cleaning fish aren't really cleaning fish although I've had 
um, some of the LG eaters. We have had a common placo, which was huge when I was a kid. We also had Oscars, which obviously get huge. Um, but I've also had uh, your bristle nose and just stuff like that, and they are gorgeous little plecos. I've had dujo loaches, and um, there was another version that's smaller than the dujo, which is a pond loach. There's a, a smaller version that has stripes on it, which is really pretty. I've had those. Obviously, certain snails and betta. I've had betta. Um, grommy. I've had multiple types of dwarf grommy. Not just the regular dwarf, but also um, the honey dwarfs, which can be in groups as opposed to the normal dwarfs, which are more like bettas where they should be singles. And I don't know how many of you guys care about fish or care about any of that, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I absolutely love this. I kind of miss having my fish. Um, I, I really did love my angel fish in my tank and I got a second angel and they were both, um, your kind of marble striped color. I don't remember the name of the pattern right now, but I loved the one, the one angel was like. I loved that angel and it it had those fins that just like kept growing so it had the really really long dorsal fin and stuff like that where it wasn't good quality because they were too long but it looked really pretty the other one was also a long fin angel but when the one angel died because of a heating malfunction yeah my heater malfunctioned and it killed my angel I I just didn't like the tank as much after that. Like, I still had the other angel. It was still the same color angel, but it wasn't my angel. And I don't know, some people can't get attached to fish. They're like something to look at so you don't hug them, you don't pet them, you don't, you know, name them. It wasn't named, by the way. Some fish I have named, but it wasn't named or anything. But I still got attached to that specific angel and the way it swam, swam around the tank and... So when I lost that angel, even though I had the others, I still had the majority of my tetras and I still had the other fish in there. I just, the tank looked empty to me and I could have got another angel and had two angels again, possibly, but like, it wasn't that it was that angel. I missed that angel. And the same thing kind of happened with my goldfish, although it wasn't a heating malfunction. It was uh, me being in the hospital and the fish just not doing well with uh, somebody else caring for it, I guess, because I lost one of my favorite goldfish and I just kind of losing my favorite goldfish, even though I had others I really liked, I just kind of lost interest in them as a whole again. I don't know. I've been that way with, uh, with animals that you would have as group animals. There's one that you form a bond with. It doesn't necessarily have to be the first one you get, but when you have like fish or, uh, finches like birds you can't really hold they're just something to look at there's still one that seems to have more of a personality or something and when you lose that personality it just seems like there's a hole there so I've been that way with my larger group animal type things so yeah so I, I've I just wasn't into fish after that happened and I've looked at fish lately and it's like, I kind of miss having a fish tank. I used to have my fish tank right under my TV, so I could either watch TV or just look down and just watch the fish. And they were nice to watch. Sometimes I'd sit on the floor in front of the tank and just watch them swim back and forth. And of course you have like the Tetras, which would school in one side and the school in the other. And you could see like a few stragglers chasing along to catch up to them. Like, I don't know. I found that entertaining and enjoyable, but I can understand why some people might not. Anyway, why I'm going on about that, I don't know. Hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, or morning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll have more for you.